name's Liam Cullen. So I run my own business called, uh, well, technically it's Liam Cullen Fitness. I sub subcontract my services for um, a few different gyms in the city centre, for example, where I'll teach um, boxing classes and teach boxing in general. Um, and that's a big part of what has led me to doing what I do now, which was boxing. So I boxed as an amateur um, from the age of around uh, 18, 19, and then transitioned in my early 20s into boxing as a professional. Um, and that gave me a massive insight into, you know, what is required to, to, to compete as a professional athlete, which, you know, as a, as a kid, I would never have dreamed of. Like I had absolutely no clue that I was going to become a professional boxer at some point in my life. But I always think looking back through the things that you did, always, always enjoyed, um, you know, one-on-one, -on -one competition uh and, and and like a combat sport so there'd been a, a variety of combat sports sort of taken part in as a as a youth um and then that led me then to using uh boxing and the the, the fitness and conditioning aspects of boxing and and the the actual understanding of the skills of boxing into uh, my own business now which is liam cullen fitness um where i I teach boxing essentially. I'll teach boxing to to a variety of uh, of ages to, to to anyone basically who wants to learn to box. Um, and obviously, I am as part of that the fitness uh, that, that that is required to become a boxer. Um, and therefore, Liam Cullen Fitness is also a personal training brand. So um, you know, I have a, a, a around thirty clients that I work with on a one to one basis. Thirty sort of the the top end that you can really think about having one-to-one -one interactions uh, with because uh, your days are quite long as a, as a personal trainer. Um, so a day would usually start at 6 a.m. for example, and it might work till around two o'clock and then you might have about four hours and then start again at say six in the evening to till around nine o'clock. That that could be the average day. So I expect if you were to shadow me on on my average day, expect uh, an early start and then a break in the middle, and then and then we crack on again in the evening. Um, one of the beautiful things about what I do is it, it it does provide you with freedom. So you you manage your own diary. Um, I look after. Um, you know my schedule on a weekly basis and it is very flexible as well so once you develop a good rapport with your clients um, you know they they will enjoy working with you and, and you know you, you experience people on a, on a much deeper level and began to sort of through the job that I do find out a lot about people and really love um, just helping people feel better about themselves as well. The, the, there's a lot of um, psychological aspects with the job itself, uh, dealing with people's mental health, essentially, um, which is something that's been spoken about quite a lot um, in recent times. And that, for me, is, is massively gratifying because you're helping someone with their, their, their fitness and their health but you're also helping them with their own uh, image of themselves. You're improving people's lives, and uh, for me, that is is you know the most important bit of of the job that I do. Um, I feel very fortunate to have gotten to do what I do, um, and you know I, I I think I've gotten to doing what I do now for a living by by listening to what makes me tick really when when i'm sort of honestly you know listening to your heart what is it that excites you what is it that you love um you know that's it i get excited about helping people and you know spending time with people one on one and figuring out what they what they might need in their lives so uh, yeah it's hugely hugely satisfying job to do um very very flexible um and you know financially free and if you work hard enough with it you uh, you know you, you you sort of reap the reward and some people you can't make a lot of money out of fitness but it's not about money and i think whatever you put your heart into that you love 
you're going to do well at it. 